On Saturday, November 2nd, starting at noon, Kevin Williams is helping sick kids by playing video games. He needs your help to raise $1,000 for the Chio Foundation. Donate at extra-life.org slash participants slash 347-875. The following podcast may contain immature content created by Danny Parkhill and Michael Walsh. Listener discretion is strongly advised. <sighs> All right, I've been up since 5.45 this morning. It's currently 12.38, just struck 12.38. I've had a very filling lunch of a Five Guys hamburger and those old bloody Cajun fries. I'm getting ready. We're going in the car to uh, head up to ye old uh, New Market, Ontario, and I'm on the hunt for Michael Walsh. This is a very, uh, very special episode of The Lasting Mark, which I like to call in my feelings. What, what kind of beer did you get? I don't know. Glutenberg. Glutenberg! <laughs> but you would think the gluten beer wouldn't be called gluten. It should be like non-gluten burger. Nine gluten burger. I'm sure it's German. If not, that might be slightly racist. <laughs> nine gluten burger? Nine gluten. <laughs> nine gluten, not your tootin'. Actually, I only got four. <laughs> oh, whatever. No, get that, it? Nine? Get it? Uh, nine? God. I hate your face. Okay. Hey, uh, just so I feel better about myself, say something about pro wrestling. I don't know. Wrestling's not fake! Thank you! I can't believe you're going to let me hang. Many hours later. Because it's, uh, it's, it's 1 o'clock in the f***ing morning. Is it and 1 o'clock? It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Suck a mother I am 11 beers in. Yeah, I'm a solid 8. But I'm also a b- Uh, this, uh... <laughs> you're a 2 at best, bud. Suck. <laughs> and this one, oh, wait. Oh, oh f- you. I nearly s*** <laughs> myself. Oh, um, this last one is a uh, 9.5. Not sure. Alcohol. Oh, f- that stinks. You're a horrible f- That human. stinks. This is why we usually have a good 2,000 kilometers between us when we f- do this. Sh- what I are you I don't, fucking. I, I don't you're know. the stupidest mother f- I've ever I, met. I don't know, Matt. This is the most special edition of the lasting mark that I could ever possibly think of. I am. Uh, currently sitting at uh, Michael Walsh's beautiful home here in Newmarket, Ontario. We just had, uh, well, we, not we, Michael and his beautiful wife, Lauren, uh, who I love more and more every day, uh, just hosted a wonderful, uh, 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 what's it f- called? Health not homecoming. I was, about to call, I was about to say homecoming. It's like, yeah. we're not f- Vitamin C. As we go on, we remember. That's still not homecoming. That's graduation. I don't f- know. <laughs> um, but they just no, hosted a, a house beautiful warming party. Yeah, housewarming party. Uh, myself and uh, my beautiful wife Stephanie were, were part of the attendees. Uh, if you're for whatever listening to this uh, uh, after meeting myself and uh, and Stephanie this fine evening, thank you so much, Michael. You have some good friends, sir. I do. I, I know some good people. You know, because like I, I you're know. a piece of. Sh- I am. So I, how I met so many good people is f-ing, it's crazy. Yeah, really, this is not going to be fun to edit no. whatsoever. <laughs> we're two minutes in, and we're all probably, probably well, double I, digits in terms of swears. I'm, the beer I doesn't I, help. I'm eleven beers deep. I yeah. cannot be held responsible. I should have got a new beer before I did this. And I not only am eleven beers deep. It's one o'clock in the morning. I have to work at nine a.m. Mm. So here's my thing. Oh, I'm so this is a stiff beer. Um. I uh, I have no simpy for you. As you Scott should. Would say. You, you, I've like, known. You were the one who scheduled this. You yeah. didn't think about, hey, I got to, you know. Like, well, no. it's it, I, I blame my assistant manager. Because, I blame my parents. Because that, well, <laughs> that went and booked the weekend off, and I was stupid enough to approve the weekend for getting that. So it's still your fault, fault is what I'm hearing. It's still my fault. <laughs> like, you didn't have to approve the weekend. No. and said, hey, I well, I'm taking this weekend off. However, if you didn't or, realize this, or, 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 you could get 
more than one assistant because you work in a large scale. I cannot afford more than one assistant. Do you do you control the finances? I have a budget. Who put you in control of finances? <laughs> Stupid people. Yeah. Well, Anyways, uh, we should say that the, I, I'm so happy to say this because it's the first time I've said it in like six f-ing weeks. I am not Danny Parkhill. Oh sh! I didn't even think of a. F- oh sh! What was the one I thought of? F- um. Ah, oh, God! F- I'm not Michael Walsh. <laughs> uh. That, all right. Um, that, that, this is is this the fir- this is this, yeah, is, this yeah, is the yeah. first time we've done the, the last first thing. First long Mark. we've done it in person. Holy sh! Yeah, yeah, we have done this. This is now like seventy eight episodes, and we've never sat in a room together and done this. So yeah, here, that, we go, here we go. Aha. Love you, brother. All right. So uh, eventually, at some point in time, we'll talk about wrestling. Um, but I, I, I'm just happy to be back on the show. Thank you so much for having some patience with so me and what, letting me take some uh, some time off. What's it, are you officially back now? Because I have plans. Uh, well, well, well. Slowly. I mean, there slowly? might still be a, a week or two. Here that's and that's there how I, I f- take. Sir. Yeah. Slowly. Well, well whatever. I, I have backup plans in case. Uh, well, uh, everyone's uh, those backup plans may have to come, but soon enough I'll be back full time. I promise you that. Uh, there's just a lot of sh- going on in my life and. Uh, I, I I gotta do stuff, stuff and things. <laughs> stuff and things. Yeah. Okay. I put the things in the stuff, and I, I stuff the things in the stuff. Okay, Joan F. My but, man. But uh, it's uh, it's. Gl- I'm happy to be back, or else I wouldn't. If I wasn't raring to be back, there's no way I'd be doing it at one o'clock in the morning. That's true. Eh? Half in the bag. When I have to half work. in the bag. Oh, okay, fully in the bag. <laughs> when I have to work at a. I don't know about hours. you, sir, but I'm. Shmammered. Yeah. Game so, over for me. So let, let, let's talk about some wrestling. It, it, it's it's hard for me because, like I said, I've been so busy with other shit. I have semi been paying attention to wrestling. I have a semi already. And, and, and the wrestling I have been paying attention to, to be perfectly honest, is not WWE. Okay. I've paid, so- I've paid very little attention to WWE. So you might have to fill me in what's going on on okay, that front. Fair enough. Should we talk about this apron I'm wearing? <laughs> you are wearing an apron. I'm wearing. You realize a- that our, our that our people can't see you, right? Well, you're, I realize you're that. like holding it out like people can. Well, see I'm, you right t- now. I'm t- telling you. <laughs> <laughs> your wife gave it to me. Like we were supposed to yes, do a karaoke. My wife gave you an apron that she made. She made this. Yes, do you guys. Off. She makes, yes, she you're made kidding that. me. No. You see, I thought she. Bought it from somewhere. No, she made that. Fuck. <laughs> this is. Can we make this a half hour so I can do a half hour show beforehand? Like I can record something tomorrow. I already have some stuff recorded, and I can just bullshit. So I don't have to censor this. <laughs> oh sh. Anyway, okay, let's talk about wrestling. Well, you started to talk about the apron. Talk about the. It, well, we so again this this uh, housewarming party that uh, that we were part of. We were supposed to have a big karaoke competition. Uh, that didn't end up happening because everybody got super super f-ing drunk. Mm-hmm. So uh, 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 Michael's beautiful wife Lauren uh, just started kind of passing him out like hot. D- she had prizes that she passed out like hot. D- um. I uh, won this beautiful apron that says, uh, get your fat pants ready with a chicken on it. Which, again, I thought she bought this. Like, oh, you could have she... told me that she bought this and I would have believed you 100%. Uh, but she made it uh, uh, for singing uh, Bonnie Tyler's Totally Clips <laughs> of the Heart. <laughs> which nobody asked him to do, by the way. Nobody asked me to do anything. But, <laughs> you know, that's the way I, that's, that's how I f- had nothing to do with the karaoke competition. He just started doing it. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh, for the love of God, <laughs> shut up!" He basically Fine, threw, you threw it at him it. so he would stop yeah. singing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. So I'm wearing the apron now as we do this episode. Um, I am so <laughs> happy, sir, to uh, uh, be touching wieners with you. As I, we, speak. I, I uh, we are docking right now. We're docking right now. And, um, uh, so as we speak, we we missed all, like, like this is this is how adult we are, man. We're having it a. F- in housewarming bra- party for this f- house I bought, and instead of we were partying and drinking our faces off, instead of watching the um, like ridiculous amount of wrestling that was on tonight, yeah. So I haven't read a 
I think. It no, is one o'clock in the morning, and 99.9% of the time, I'd be reading results or something like that. So Fight for the Fallen happened tonight, yep. as we're speaking, it happened yep. tonight, uh, as did uh, Evolve. That's right. Yeah, I, me, myself, I was way more interested in the, in the Evolve show. Uh, f- AEW, I, I'm done. Okay, so let's let's talk about that. So why you've you've seen the AEW? I, if you include whatever it was, <laughs> out or whatever the f- they called yeah, it, yeah. we're so f- hammered, <laughs> guys. Like I want you to know right now. Like I might half-ass censor this. Like if you care about swear words, Jeff DeHan. Turn this show off, okay? Don't censor, you know, like you do in the messages that you do. I'm so hammered. Anyway, (laughs) if you include out or whatever the you called it, yeah, they've had what three pay per views, four pay per views. So yeah, 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 yeah. All 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 in, in. all in my nice. Uh, Please (laughs) minute. Um, Followed followed by uh, 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 double uh, double double uh, followed by uh, fight was it fight fight fest fight fest fight yeah what was it called uh, fight, f- fire <laughs> I was about to use another f word that probably couldn't <laughs> Adam oh. Adam Colton would censor it not me uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um uh, what do we call it fight it was fight fest or fight oh, fire. mosquitoes Jesus. Fight. Christ, Christ or some, something. Uh, and then tonight was Fight for the Fallen. So that's four shows now. Yeah, okay. Okay. So why why are you done with them so soon? Because I have <laughs> not seen a show that has blown me away. All In was good. They've All had in, four f***ing shows. Yeah. And you've seen three of them. Yeah. And they have done nothing to impress me. Quit being a b- so You've I'm seen so, three like, shows. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, sorry. Shh, My fault. Shh, oh, okay. Shh, oh, you're being the librarian as you should be doing here. Because that's the like the, the f-ing most over gimmick okay. they have right okay. now is a okay. f-ing librarian. Okay, I'll give you. Okay, first of all, you're wrong. The most over gimmick they have is a guy named John Moxley. The second most over guy they have is a guy called Joey Janela. The third most over over guy is a guy they have called f- Cody Rhodes. Mm-hmm. Then there's the mm-hmm. Young Bucks. Mm-hmm. Then they have a lot of talent no. on the roster. The librarian no, gimmick. No. I I will I will agree with you on that. I think it's a. Sh- gimmick, I don't think it's going very well, and I think they know it's not going very well. For all care. we know, they could have killed it off at this show. We don't f- know. It's one No, they put in the, the librarian versus Sunny Kiss already ready to bury Sunny, Sunny Kiss. If they bury... Okay, again, I say this without reading any results, seeing any, you know, any of that. I have seen Sunny Kiss. He's, he's an Ottawa local. Mm-hmm. He, he... Well, I don't know if he's local guy. to Ottawa, but he's I, a very talented I, I guy. I think he's very talented. He, he has performed in the Ottawa local scene for a long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, if they bury him, I will be pissed yeah. off. Same as if they bury... Uh, I think well, just, they, they just call him the him Dark Order now. Just putting him in a match against a librarian does nothing good for him. <sighs> I don't know if I agree with that. Okay. Well, because the I, librarian, I, like it or not, the librarian right now... Is is being talked about, right? True. Whether no, it has yeah, Xbox right. heat or not, nah. it's being talked about, right? So, Sunny Kiss going against something that is being talked about in the world of of professional wrestling, it at least puts him somewhere, right? Cody getting smacked in the face with a chair got talked about, dude. Doesn't matter. Okay, right. we're gonna get to that, and I'm gonna slap you with my <laughs> penis just like I did <laughs> Satchel ass Conton. Okay, um, who by the way isn't here? You piece of <laughs> dog. <laughs> you go against you go against uh, Ray Beauchamp. And no, 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 no we can't talk. We can't talk poop about him anymore. Why not? Because I want to go to ROH with him, and he's already mad at me. Why is he mad at you? Because I I said hurtful things about him in a video. What f- video? What's that, this? How did vid- I miss all this? That video that you and I made earlier today, where where we basically oh, told f- f- himself. F- him. <laughs> he can go, he's like, oh, no, I, I'm not going to say any more hurtful words because uh, I want Adam and I to, be, to, to hold hands at ROH. Well, f***ing Adam loves me. He's a piece of <laughs> shit. <I hate> him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love you, buddy. Um, I wish you were here. Um, I'm so drunk. Holy sh! And he's about to start singing a Pink Floyd drag. I'm <laughs> Slay, where's your guitar? All right. Uh, <laughs> we're 
We're getting off track here. Hey, this is a commercial for Patreon.com slash WrestleMediaCA, where you can get early access to episodes of your favorite WrestleMedia shows, get full uncut and uncensored versions of your favorite shows, and more. Don't want to hear this commercial on your podcast anymore? Sign up at our main event tier and get these episodes ad-free. Want to hear your own commercial here instead of ours? We've got tiers for that, too. Visit patreon.com slash WrestleMediaCA and join the WrestleMedia revolution today. My point is, the the librarian gimmick, yes, it's not getting over, and I think they know that. Did, did you watch Being the Elite? No, I don't watch Being the Elite. So you basically don't pay attention to f- AEW at all. So they they basically acknowledge that yes, the librarian gimmick is not getting over. They're making a joke like, oh, we're gonna make it super long term, five years, and all this. You know, like they're okay. not. They they they're making jokes about it. So obviously, so, they have plans to, if not get rid of it, figure out something else and what they're doing with it. You know what I'm saying? So again, I say this without seeing fight. What is this fight for the fallen now? Fight for the fallen. Yeah. I say this without seeing Fight for the Fallen. It looks like they have some sort of plan for it. A mosquito bit the bottom of my foot, and it's the worst <laughs> thing I've ever dealt with in my entire life. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of mosquitoes out there. <laughs> um, anyway, it could be worse. They could be like putting Sunny Kiss against the mosquitoes in your backyard <laughs> with your. F-ing they would bury Sunny Kiss. For sure, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. They buried me today. They mm. bit the shit out of me. I'm itchy as a mom. Anyways, I, 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 I exaggerate. I say I'm done. I'm, I'm not done. I'm still going to watch Fight for the Fallen. I am going to watch um, All Out, All In, All whatever the next <laughs> out, whatever the <laughs> show is called. Uh, my <laughs> your chin. Uh, whatever, whatever the next, I, I, I will watch them. But all I'm saying is I have seen very little so far to make me want to keep watching. Um, yes, have there been a few good matches? I enjoyed the, the, the Rhodes Brothers match. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it the best thing I've seen this year? Not by far. Um, the Moxley Janela match. Best thing I've seen in AEW. Mm-hmm. Best thing I've seen in wrestling this year? No. Best thing I've seen Joey Janela do this year? No. Uh, you know, it, it, it was good, but it's not enough to, to keep me to keep me on. Um, and don't get me started on the f-ing Rhodes Allen match. Everyone's talking like it was this f-ing masterpiece match. It wasn't. There was no. There, no there one's there, talking there, there, about that. No, there, there's a lot of people talking about how great that spot was where. F-ing Darby Allen fell backwards under the f-ing apron. So that, that, that no, number one, that spot was f-ing stupid. Yes, it was. Darby Allen, he didn't f-ing one million percent. Break but if you talk to f-ing Kotan, he'll say, "Oh, the chair shot is so f-ing bad." Without it talking about bad. that spot where no, he did that, the cough and true. drop off the top rope. No, that that drop was that 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 spot was just as stupid. You're as so chair. full of. F-ing. How am I stupid? You're so full of. F-ing. That spot was just as bad as the truth. No, I disagree entirely. Uh, uh, like, the, the coffin drop... Okay, you're saying the coffin drop spot, yeah. right? Where, where Darry yes. Allen came off the f- top. Yeah, I, I am saying was, that, that spot was bad. That was bad. Yeah. The chair shot was as bad as that spot, is uh-huh. what you're saying? Yeah. You're full of... Why not? You're full of... When was the last time somebody got up from uh, falling in the ring apron and killed his wife? <laughs> Okay, and I said clearly, clearly you didn't listen to the f-ing show last week. Did you listen to the show last week? No, because you're. Hey, I'm working fourteen f-ing hours, and they have to go to sleep at nine o'clock because my f-ing are in my f-ing stomach. Uh, All of that is true. <laughs> <laughs> no, f-ing, Kota and I talked last week about this. Being one million percent honest with you, the chair shot to me, mm-hmm. not a big. F-ing deal. I, one I, chair shot, like, once know, in a and while. And I know you feel like that, and I respect the fact that you feel like that, but you're not going to change my mind thinking that it is an outdated move that it has no place in today's wrestling. I disagree. I'm, and, I'm and sorry. I, and I know like, you do, but... I, like, I think that 
There's no you, when you, when you're anywhere. in a position like AEW is in. Name when you're in a wrestling match right now that you can say, "Oh, that was good," but it could have used a f-ing stiff chair shot to the face. Uh, well, I mean, uh, name a, name one that that could have used it, or, or one well, that, that did use it and you, and and made it better. Because I can tell you one of the latter right now. Go ahead, Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker, two times. Number one on Raw. Are we talking about SummerSlam? Nope, we're talking about um, Raw. Uh, I, I think it was the week it. after SummerSlam. Although okay. that that chair shot know, at SummerSlam know, is fantastic as well. And okay. at Bad Blood, Hell in a Cell. Did it need to be unprotected? And you, I think it helped. So especially especially the one on Raw. That chair yeah. shot looked f-ing vicious, and they showed it on replays for f-ing years because it was so f-ing vicious. Long before, and it, and it, long and it made and it made the f-ing storyline. He was Shawn Michaels hitting Undertaker with an unprotected chair shot, and it was it was so f-ing vicious. We're like, f-ing look at what Shawn Michaels did to Undertaker. No wonder he's going to kill him in Hell in a Cell and Bad Blood. So making one storyline better makes years and years now of of concussion research. Here's the. F- no problem. Point. You and Pontin both oh. brought up the same person, and that's Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit, his CTE was not caused by f-ing chair shots. His CTE was caused by f-ing landing on the f-ing side of his head. It was taken by by concussions. Yes, because You're, not because of chair shots, because he did the f-ing diving head so, but every so, f-ing night. So unprotected chair shots don't cause concussions, is what you're saying. Not, uh, and I'm not saying unprotected chair shots don't cause concussions. I'm, I'm saying, saying not every unprotected chair shot I'm causes saying concussions. Remove and I'm saying a lot of people, a lot of workers understand what they are doing, especially in today's day and age. With the way that CTE is viewed now, every worker has to decide for themselves No, whether it is something that they are willing to risk or not. Absolutely not. You, me, okay, so me as an employer, when I hire somebody, I have the right to say, okay, I want you, I don't want you, I don't trust you using a knife, so I'm not putting you on the prep area today. No, that's no. bull****. That's a different it's thing. It's you not. cannot compare. You're, you're saying it's up to the worker. It's not up to the worker, it's up to the employer. Vince McMahon has all the right to say, I do not want my employees taking unprotected chair shots. Okay, no, all right, so we're talking about, you're right about that, that's fine. What I'm saying, we're, we're talking about two different things here. So Vince, you're absolutely right. Okay. Vince McMahon is well within his rights to say, I don't want any of my employees taking sh- unprotected chair shots because right. it's TTE. That's totally 100% fine. What I'm talking about is in the course of a storyline, right? I'm not talking about every single match. And you know me, I'm a hardcore ma- mark. I'm a death match mark. I get you. Every once in a while, if the worker... Right, uh, say say that rule didn't exist in WWE. Right, mm-hmm. say Vince McMahon is like, okay, you know what, chair shots, do whatever the f- you want. Yeah. Right, pile drivers, do whatever the f- you want. Feel free to kind of promo that isn't f- scripted. Right, it is up to the worker themselves if they want to put themselves in that position to be a part of an angle or to to take a chair shot like that. That could potentially. Maybe, maybe not. But most likely. Okay. F*** you. You were a smoker for how many years? 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. So. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you it was a good move on my part. So, whatever. Whether it was a good move on your part or not. You made a conscious decision. Absolutely. Knowing that it could possibly cause you life, you know, long-term issues. most likely. Well, whatever. Most likely or not. So, so I'm going to sit here and tell you, yes, smoking for 15 years was just as f-ing stupid as taking a chair shot to the head, both of which I've done, <laughs> and neither of which I'm f-ing proud of. We're going to disagree on this all night, man. Yeah, We're we are. F-ing. It was, that's what I said in the beginning of the I know I'm not, I, I'm not out to change your mind. You're not going to change mine. Uh, f-ing f-ing this I just step. think it, it isn't, there, there are things that are... There's an evolution in wrestling. We've talked about this in the, in the past. Yeah, it's uh, evol- uh, Randy Orton, <laughs> Batista, Triple H, Ric Flair. Yeah. There's a, the, the, there's evolution of the sport that we love. And 
unprotected share shots are something from the past. They have that that don't. There's no place for them. There's no reason for them now. There is, like I said, there's not a single match I can sit there and watch and be like, yeah, that match was good, but what they really needed was that guy to take a f***ing piece of solid steel to the f***ing cranium. It, it, it just, it, it, it doesn't matter to me. Not to mention it takes away from the art of it. it, it it's, now, with That's that That's my said, f***ing problem with, with it, with, though. With, with, the, with that said, that, show, that I'm a bit of a hypocrite on that because you, you, alone have turned me into a bit of a death match. Mark. Yes. Thank you very much. But that's uh, exactly my point. But so if we start saying, oh, see, you know, chair shots cause CTE, we can't do that. But, you know, well, then what's next? Because, like, thumbtacks are, I'm sure, not <laughs> great for you. Barbed wire, I'm sure, no, you know, one wrong move, either. that'll cut your no, drug dealer. Right. Uh, you know? It's, but I'm just saying... There's a, there's a time and a place. Chair shots. It, that's exactly that's what I'm saying, though. There is a time and a place. I'm not saying every single match someone needs to take a chair shot. I'm Cody saying every once in a shot. while. Cody didn't need to take that chair shot. That had nothing to do with anything. I do think it was a little early in the feud to do that, but that's a booking decision, not a, I, not a chair shot decision. It did, they did it for one reason and one reason only. It's for <laughs> Mark's like us to be sitting here talking about it at 1 o'clock. And in the guess morning, what? Having the beer. It it worked, 100%. Um, guaranteed, they're sitting at home going, you know, you know, mission accomplished. Exactly. They, you they know what? Knew. Now people are going to start buying their next pay-per-view for Sean Spears versus Cody Rhodes because they're going to say, it, like it or not. Because I, I wasn't like going to buy that pay-per-view for any other yeah. What a sh- no, I'm saying that's, that's, that's a part of the draw. Now they can say, okay, whether you like it or not. Right, whether you like Cody taking that chair shot or not, you got the people who you know are okay with the chair shot being. Oh man, you know Sean Spears really f- different with that one. You know, let's see what happens here. Let's see where they go with the feud. And you got the people who didn't like it saying that was. B- why the f- they do something like that? What kind of stupid f- are they going to do on this pay per view? And guess what? It all ends in the same b- thing, which is them buying the b- pay per view. Now, now, do you believe? That's why they did it, and I'm totally cool with it. Do you believe the horse? B- Trying to defeat us about the the chair being rigged. Yeah, that's bull. Like, that, that I don't. That I don't believe. That, I, that I do feel that was them trying to be sure. like, you know. Oh, I'm sorry to all the feminists who <laughs> believe that you know pro wrestling is you know fake. You know, like, <laughs> you. All right, that was, I'm sorry. That was that was. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what feminists have to do with any of this. <laughs> oh. Um, well, no, my, I more meant like there are people who were like, we're gonna ban AEW so because the- of a chair shot. <sighs> Sweetheart, what time is it? Yeah, 9.02. What, what day is it? Sunday. This thing is due, this turkey's due tomorrow morning to uh, Satchel Ass. Is that Adam Comtat? Yeah, it is yeah. Satchel Ass, Adam Comtat. Yeah. Uh, the man who will take my. Oh. Yes. Well, that's exciting. We have slimmer and trimmer. <laughs> um, listen, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. This podcast is a doozy to edit because Mike and I swear so very much. So how we're going to cut it. Uh, how many beers did you have before you recorded that little puppy? Uh, between me and Mike? Uh, no, just just even just, yeah, you. I remember nine. Yeah, at least. Yeah, well. I'm not, I'm not hungover, though. I'm only hungover on WrestleMedia podcasts. So if someone wants to hear, like, the full version of this podcast, baby girl, where do they go? Uh, I would be at patreon.ca forward slash WrestleMedia CA. That's a good rhyme. Right? Yeah, not too bad. It's, I, I would like to say that Adam's smart and, like, thought that up on his own, but that's not the case. He just sort of stuff <laughs> over. Oh, I'm pretty sure he would have thought of it. His hands just take power and create something? Uh, I don't know. All right. Uh, uh, thank you very much for listening to the Lasting Mark this week. Uh, again, if you want to hear the full version, that's uh, patreon.ca slash WrestleMediaCA. Otherwise, the freeloaders, uh, get the hell out of here, and we'll see you next week. Bye. This has been a presentation of WrestleMedia, where everything is wrestling and wrestling is everything. 
This is what you're missing out on right now over at patreon.com slash WrestleMediaCA. Well, I couldn't get I tickets to SummerSlam. Well, I knew that. I couldn't none, get none tickets to TakeOver. I didn't know that. I thought you did. So, I mean, it's we like, why well, am I going? I go down to ROH. Yeah. I come down and hang out, but I you guys know, are going to be gone all I didn't weekend. know you. We, we all got tickets to the next week. I didn't know you didn't get any. No. Well, I didn't know you. Well, want more? Sign up now at patreon.com slash WrestleMedia CA.